Hi everyone. So this Friday, August 11th, marks the final of the Goddess Fridays. So we've been inside of this amazing, powerful month of the Goddess, and this is our final week. And what you can do inside of this week, as well as, uh, and particularly on Friday. So we, the Goddess energy culminates in one of the most powerful goddesses of all, and that is Pratingre. She's a goddess with a lion's head and a female body, and she is known to be extremely fierce. She is adorned with a garland of human skulls. Uh, she has a trident. She has um, a serpent, a drum. These are the symbolisms and the objects that she holds, all used for destroying negativity, for destroying evil. One of her favorite pastimes is to defeat your enemies and kill and ward off any evil eye or dark spirits or curses that have been placed upon you. We all have those things, whether we want to admit it or not. There's energetic fields that come at us, even if someone doesn't mean to curse you, but just has a bad intention in that moment, that energy come towards you. And it can afflict some sort of negativity in your life that can then transform into a manifestation of bad luck of um, things always seeming to go wrong, a black cloud over your head. However, you know, all these expressions we've created in the West for this type of energy and how it is impacting us. So she is uh, particularly good at this. And that's why it is also good to have these energies um, performed on your behalf. I'm sorry, have these rituals performed on your behalf to her. Because all fierce beings, gods and goddesses, have to be approached with a certain level of care. And um, because if you do anything to upset them, their wrath can come towards you. And we certainly don't want that. So your job in the relationship with Patingre and other wrathful gods and goddesses is to one of humility and love and then really leaving uh, the rituals or ceremonies, remedies to those beings, to the professionals. And that is why Astrovet and Ply Center offer these um, homas and fire labs and special rituals so that we can take advantage of these power times, connect with these divine beings without any harm to us. So I encourage you to do that if, if you're um, in the position to do a ceremony participating in that because we don't do them that often and uh, to perform one individually is quite expensive. I think it's a couple thousand dollars. So to have a group or Tingere ritual and it's even done at a special Durga power spot, it's going to be quite grand. Um, if you have the ability, please go ahead and uh, join that ceremony. So when I was doing some research for this video, I found um, a little story that I want to share with you. and. Some of you know Narasimha, the virgin or the avatar of Vishnu, who came to destroy uh, an evil demon. And as he and he came in the form of a lion's head and a male's body, and he destroyed that demon. And as he was drinking the blood and getting drunk from the um, the aftermath of his his victory, he became uh, quite excitable, and the gods were concerned that he would become too destructive. He needed to be controlled. So then Lord Shiva came in the form and created Sharaba, another demon-esque type of being that came to, to control Narasimha. And one of the stories goes is that there's two different stories I read. One is that uh, when Sharaba came, he was able to calm Narasimha and all, was en all ended well. The other story I heard was that when Sharaba came, because he was put together from many different forms of beings. One was that one of the wings is Pratingre. So the fear goddess was one of the wings of Sharaba, this god who came to control Narasimha. And it was said that when Narasimha saw Sharaba and he got even more pissed off and then started to destroy Sharaba. And when he did, the one of the, the wings of Pratingre uh, was off by itself and came in the form of a secret tantric version of Lakshmi. And because Narasimha is an avatar of Vishnu, only Lakshmi can calm Vishnu. So at that point, uh, Narasimha recognized his 
his consort in the form of Portingre, and that it calmed him down. And it is also said that Portingre is sometimes called Narasimhi, the female version. So, and that basically means um, human, uh, a head with a lion, lion's head. And they both have lion's heads. And they both are very fierce and can protect you. And that's all I wanted to say about that. So in terms of what you could do at home, continue doing what you're doing in your, if you have a Sri Chakra, you can worship that. I don't, and Dr. Pillai doesn't recommend that you personally worship Pratingre at home. So you may um, read about her and get to know her a little bit and then leave the rituals to the professionals, as I mentioned, and there's still time to order them now. And then continue your goddess worship, your chanting. You can continue to do stream Bruzi and really take advantage of this amazing goddess time. Friday will be a very powerful day. So you wanna gear up and you wanna leave some time, especially during Venus Hora, to do your practice. So let us know how it goes. We'd love to hear any experiences you've been having with the goddess and we'll talk to you soon. Namaste. Thank you.